Lex has taken her boyfriend to meet her reclusive brother, hacker Leo, who lives alone, estranged in this tower block oh, by him, so lonesome. And uh, she's trying to reconnect with him. She hasn't seen him in a while. Drew is trying to get the lay of the land as to how this relationship is working because there's something just a little bit off about it. And it also happens to be Leo's birthday. And he's having a party to celebrate. And as part of his celebration, he is giving away Daisy. This is his latest programme, a virus that has been designed to treat humans like a plague. And to eradicate that plague, it's, it's kind of like a, a fun thing that he's been doing for a while and this is his latest iteration. And when things start to go a little bit haywire and when Drew starts to notice the relationship between Lex and Leo becoming a little bit more uncomfortable than he would you know, like, he decides to try and leave the apartment, get away and finds that he's been locked in by Daisy, this computer programme that has taken over Leo's system and is now trying to figure a way to get rid of the humans, the virus that are in this building. Daisy brings on plagues, brings on plagues of locusts, it brings on floods of acidic water, uh, who tries to, to clean this say, Eden type place that Leo has created. And it's very fun and it's very different and it's a very tech soaked neo-noir type movie that has definite genre elements as well. It is a psychological horror movie at its base core as one of these characters becomes infected by the computer virus itself as it starts to eat away at them and tear down the relationships that are going on in front of us. It is at its heart a low budget movie. It's taking people to the one location and it is creating situations constantly. But they're fun situations and they're interesting to watch. We have the three main characters that all have various relationship problems. We have Leo, who is kind of antagonistic towards Drew because his sister is it's a, his only kin that he has left. We have Lex, who is obviously in love with Drew, but she's also equally in love with Leo and they have an overly friendly relationship. And then we have Leo himself, who is kind of distance with humanity. He prefers tech things and he likes to get involved with that, create programs, drink, lock himself away. Interactions is not his forte and he's not really too concerned with the social norms, with not stepping in anybody's toes. And the movie has this very slight visual style that creeps in throughout the movie. We start off rather basic with just static shots, but we start to see as the movie moves on, the production values change as things start to turn, melt, change shape, colour, things uh, that was once one thing has absorbed and changed into something else due to the virus, much as the characteristics of our main protagonist start to change and alter and twist and turn. And it's a very nice horror movie. It's very to the point. It touches on all kinds of other horror movies as well, like Demon Seed and the latest Tao from Netflix. Although technology run amok, the thing that we are connected into 24 hours a day turning against us, that horrific element of something that we use, something we rely on, turning on its owner and creating sheer hell is what happens here. Man delving into technology and creating something that is going to ultimately lead to our demise because it's something that we inherently rely on and that is the core fear behind control and I like that. I like the characters, I thought they all did excellent work and I like the dynamics between the three leads and I love some of the, the say, low budget but very interesting special effects that the movie has, I found them endearing. Now unfortunately control isn't stated for a release anytime soon but I do advise sticking it on your watch list as something that you will want to check out at some point rather soon. I'd love to know if you've seen the movie or if you've seen the trailer. Let me know in the comment box below what you think of this movie. And I'll see you next time on Man vs Film.